Well, hi everybody. Um, this is kind of the uh, the start to a daily routine for you, hopefully. Um, if you've been doing a daily routine, uh, that's a great thing. This this uh, CD hopefully will maybe just help you focus a little bit more, um, get get some certain things taken care of as we uh, as we get into um, some of the the technical stuff in the guitar. Um, we're gonna start out with some stretches um, as we do uh, on Saturdays. So the first thing is uh, extend your your hand out with your uh, your your fingers pointing in the air your your arm should be uh, straight um, start with your left hand most important this will be done with your your left hand um, you want to grab your fingers with your right hand and pull them back towards your body um, do it do it gently at first then slowly increase the pressure shouldn't be painful but you should feel the stretch across the bottom of your wrist and then after about 10 seconds um, face your fingers downward with your arms st straight and uh, do the same thing with your right hand. Pull, pull your hand towards your body until you feel that pressure across the top end of your wrist. Hold that for about 10 seconds. And then we'll go back and do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 7 to 10 seconds. I might be counting my seconds a little faster than, than uh, face your, your hand downward. Stretch the top end of your wrist. You want to do this several times. Um, I put this in the CD because it is important and it's something that I frequently forget to do when I sit down to practice. Um, can be causing um, repetitive stress injury to your to your wrist um, without even noticing it until until there's pain um, it may go completely undetected so this is a, a good thing to try to remember this every time you sit down to play the guitar so continue doing that this is also a great time to uh, to pray if you uh, if you don't have a regular time during the, the day to pray um, this is a great opportunity um, lift up your cares and concerns to the Lord um, also a great time to, uh, to just pray for your, uh, your, your playing. Um, this is something we, we, uh, we do to honor the Lord. Um, something we, we enjoy, um, as, as most things, uh, we do to honor the Lord. Um, but, uh, this is, this is a great time just to pray for, uh, skill and, uh, um, you know, that your, your ability to learn would be, would be quickened and, and, uh, and your skill would be increased through this practice. So once you've got your, your tendons kind of stretched stretched out, the next thing is to warm them up. You want to place uh, place your your palms up. You can bend your your uh, elbows and uh, and lay your palm, your palms in front of you. Um, then what you want to do is is um, touch your pinky finger to your thumb, and then open up your hand again. Then your ring finger to your thumb. Open up your hand, middle finger to your thumb, open up your hand all the way, index finger, and back. And we want to do this as sort of an aerobic exercise for the, uh, for the wrists. Um, this, this, this helps to warm up the tendons as you would warm up for uh, a jog or a workout. Um, so we're going to do it, and, and, and just as everything we do, we want to kind of do it rhythmically because uh, doing anything rhythmically will, will help you grow as a musician. So we go pinky ring, middle, index, index, middle, pinky, I'm sorry, ring, pinky, <laughs> and uh, just go back and forth like that, you go, five, four, three, two, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, two, three, four, five, however you want to say it, just keep going back and forth like that, Many times you'll feel a burn in your wrist, not everyone, but uh, that's okay. That means the muscles are working. So you want to go back and forth, do this several times until you feel feel good and warmed up. Um, you want to do it for a couple minutes at least. Um, again, we don't want to rush this. That's kind of why I put that at the beginning of the, of the session here. The next thing we want to do is tuning. Um, now I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to uh, play some tones here. They sound kind of like a guitar, but they're actually MIDI files. I wanted to make sure that the, the tuning was perfect. Um, so we're going to go through and uh, give you some tones to help you tune your guitar. All right. 
The first tone you're going to hear is uh, the E. So remember the, uh, the strings from the thickest string to the thinnest string are E, A, D, G, B, and E. So here is the E. All right, now to demonstrate, um, I'll play uh, my guitar and, and tune it to that sound. We're tuning the low E, that's the fattest string, the one closest to you. I'll play the E, and then I'll play the, uh, the E on my guitar and bring it up to pitch. So it's flat. I'm going to bring it up a little bit, turning the knob counterclockwise with my left hand. Keep trying here. So now we're very close. Um, you want to listen for the uh, the kind of uh, wavering sound. That means you're you're close to the pitch, but you're not. You want that wavering sound to slow down and then disappear. When you have the the correct pitch, you'll just hear a solid tone across the board. Um, now I'll go through each of the strings and uh, you can tune your guitar to those pitches. If you don't have uh, an uh, electric tuner, um, this is a great way to go. If you do have one, feel free to skip ahead to the end of this tuning and we'll get into the rest of the, uh, the disc. Now I'll start with the E, the fattest string. And remember, you want to lower your string below the pitch and then tune it up until you hit that correct pitch. Here's the E. Again. If you're not sure, just make sure it's flat, bring it up. Then we'll move on to the A. the second fattest string. And we'll move on to the D, the third from the fattest. That's the G. Again. Now on to the B. the second string almost to the end. And then on to the high E, the first string and the furthest from you. All right, great. Hopefully uh, your guitar is in tune. If not, uh, feel free to, to back up the disc and uh, um, 
try to get that thing as close as possible. Um, if your guitar is in tune, you'll the, the rest of everything else will make sense. If, if you start with a guitar that's out of tune, you'll kind of be training yourself the wrong things. You'll be you'll be getting used to hearing things you shouldn't hear, and, and it'll be hard to become a, a good guitarist if you're used to playing a guitar that's out of tune. The next thing we want to do um, is if you can pull out your uh, guitar fretboard sheet that shows all of the notes from the 1st to the 12th fret. We're going to work on memorizing the uh, low E string from the 1st fret through the 12th fret. And again, that's all of the notes, but we want to memorize their position on the fretboard um, from the open string all the way down. So if you could get that out now. Now for the rest of the disc, we're going to be uh, playing some... some uh, drum loops in the background. Um, hopefully this will help us do things rhythmically, um, get into the, uh, the sense of, of, of doing things musically right off the bat, um, grow ourselves as musicians. So we're going to start with the open E string, um, then, then fret the first, second, third, and so on. And we're going to do it uh, to a rhythm. And I'll shout out as we change. Remember to keep your uh, finger nice and close to the fret. We don't want it to be uh, we don't want it to be too far away from the fret so you get buzzing. It should be a nice clear sound. So your open E would sound like this. And then the F. And so on. Now we'll get the, the drum beat started here. We're going to start with the open E and I'll go on from there. Here we go. F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, and E, and then open, go E again, hit one more time, and we'll start over again, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, C sharp, D, D sharp, and E, then open. We're going to do this again. This time we're going to go twice as fast. So here we go. Open. You ready? Here we go. E. F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, and open, and open, and open again, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, a sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, and open, E, E. Okay, great. That's a great way to practice. Just uh, keep doing that for a while if uh, if you like. It's a, it's a good thing to, to get a beat going in the background of whatever you're doing whenever you're practicing. So next we're going to do the same thing except with chords. The first chord we're going to practice is the E minor. If you want to get out your chord sheet, 